Guys, I've come up with the most amazing idea. An idea that I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do yet. Now, before I tell you what it is, I gotta give you a little backstory on why this is so important to me. NCAA football, one of the most iconic sports game franchises in the last 25 years that was unfortunately discontinued in 2013 with NCAA football 14. Now, I don't want to dwell on how or why, but rather talk about how a five-year-old game can still have so much versatility and drive so much viewership on YouTube. You guys have heard my story before on how NCAA football literally changed my life. It was the first videos I uploaded to this channel and created so much opportunity for me. But just like the beloved franchise, I stopped playing and uploading along the way. But just when I thought the game would die and people's excitement would move on to Madden and other games, a comedic commentary series about the University of Georgia Fairburn, the Pandas, would change that. See, at that time, I only remember Good Game Bros, JMU Dynasty, Moonlight Swami's West Morgan Dynasty, K Spade's UNLV Dynasty, and they were all great, but they all moved on to do other things. Good Game Bro moved over to Facebook, started focusing more on Fortnite and other games. Moonlight Swami works at EA now, and K Spade also works at EA now. Now, I don't want to go too deep into the story here, but Not the Expert, aka Big Old Drewski, would go on to create one of the best NCAA series I've ever seen that exploded in viewership on YouTube. This series would then go on to be the catalyst for so many others like Param Crow, C4, Uncle Sam's Rejects, TNJ, Mr. Hurricane, and so much many more. Shout out to the Franchise Creator Discord. You guys are all up next. See, before the UGF Pandas, I had uploaded a series called Rags to Riches. I'm an absolute fool because I was worried about the views and never uploaded another one. And looking at that now, I had something special. I just kind of just didn't do it. But I digress. So now on to my amazing idea. I'm not trying to gas it up, but I think it could be good because I haven't ever seen it done before. Now I was watching Param's five-star rebuilds and thought, what would be this concept on a grand scale? So I asked myself a simple question. How many one-star schools could you take to a national championship in the 60-year limit of an NCAA football 14 dynasty? And that's when the light bulb went on and the idea for a coaching carousel dynasty was born. So here's how it's going to work. I'll start with a one-star school, which I'll reveal in the next episode, with updated 2019 rosters, and we'll try and rebuild them to win a national championship. But there are a few ground rules. While I'm rebuilding a team, I will focus on recruiting only, and I cannot play any other games other than the national championship game. This will help me get through a lot of the seasons and test my rebuild and recruiting skills while giving me some control in the championship. Now, there's only two ways I can move on to a new team. One, if I get fired, or or two if I win a national championship. And when I move on to a new school, I can only accept a head coaching position at another one-star school. So keeping those rules in mind, remember my goal is to win as many national championships in the 60-year limit while only accepting head coaching jobs at one-star schools. The next order of business is the upload schedule because you're probably thinking, wow, it is going to take forever to finish 60 seasons. Well, I've got an idea for that too. Each upload will be entirely focused on one team from starting as a one-star to either winning a national championship or firing. Like I said earlier, I'll be simulating the seasons, focusing on recruiting from week to week, year to year, and give you updates on signings and statistics along the way. If we make the national championship, I'll give you the highlights from that game, but not much more extended gameplay other than that. Now, I think that about covers it, and I'm really excited to get this one started. Stay tuned for the next episode where we reveal that team and then try and push them to win their first natty. Now, before we move on, I got to say thanks to Param for kind of talking me through this. Like I said, He's doing the five-star rebuilds, but he does a new coach and starts from the beginning every time. So it's very similar, but this is going to be one big, long coaching carousel, full 60 dynasties. I don't think I've ever seen anyone go 60 years into the future and show what happens all along the way while sticking with that same coach and going from team to team. So this is how I'm going to bring NCAA back to my channel. It's been long overdue. So thanks so much for tuning on to this one. And until the next one, we'll see you. Peace.